Pisces, I'm here for another reading for you today. As always, it is a general and timeless reading. It's not a personal reading, so just take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't for the next person. And if you would like a personal reading, one-on-one -on -one personal session, or Akashic Records, you could go to 144bluerosetemple.com, or you could email me. All that information's in that box below. And as always, thank you for all of your love, thank you for all of your support, and thank you for being here today. If my energy and my readings resonate with you, feel free to subscribe, click on that notification bell, and the like button so you can know when the next reading does come out. All right, Pisces, right away, you're getting the card Past Life Healing, Hecate. All right, Hecate may resonate with you. I'm also getting the Blue Flame. So Archangel Michael may resonate with you as well, or even Melchizedek. So any of those three energies can resonate with you. Uh, and because we have Past Life Healing, I am going to grab from the Past Life Oracle deck. For Pisces, why do we have Past Life Healing for uh, Pisces? Why do we have Past Life Healing? Why do we have past life healing? Ooh, okay. By, ooh, I can't make that. I was about to say by traveling. And then we have ships, okay? Are you in a six of swords energy? Are you about to travel Pisces? Now, Asia may resonate with you because it does say Asia. So, so for some of you, it's Asia. For others of you, it's just traveling. We have transportation, train. You may be traveling by a train, by a plane, or by a boat. It feels like much more than car travel. All right, we do have Orphan on the bottom of the deck. So whether it's Asia or not, though, you're traveling, okay? There's some sort of travel that you're going to do that brings about past life healing. So you could have had a past life on this land that brings a lot of healing, or, you know, that's also light working. That's grid work, okay? And it does say medicine, man or woman. And so, and that is what I was going to say that whatever land you travel to, it actually may have some sacred medicine for you on a soul level. Okay. So I definitely see that there for you. I'm going to grab some other cards of advice. All right. Why do we have transportation, past life healing and Asia for Pisces? Interesting. Okay. Uh, different things. Okay. Bali may even resonate with you. I'm getting Bali, Asia uh islands in general islands but again it can be just anything for you okay it doesn't have to be asia or an island revelation teaching and discovery so pisces you better pack your bags okay you're going on a trip pisces so you better pack your bags um it's much more than just physical travel pisces you're going to time travel as you're on this trip it's a very sacred trip this trip is meant to open your heart to open your soul uh this land has very special medicine for you and it's going to be uh a really big advancement in your personal journey on your healing journey on your spiritual journey divine mother and father holy spirit of god for pisces why do we have transportation past life healing asia and revelation why do we have past life healing for pisces I'm going to grab some clarifications. Why Seven of Swords? Who was trying to be sneaky and block something for you, Pisces? Why do we have Page, page of Pentacles over here for Pisces? Oh, too bad. It didn't block anything. And why do we have High Priestess card for Pisces? Pisces. Now, when it comes to this trip, there have been things surrounding this trip for you. Of course, it attracts these energies when this trip is going to be big for you. This trip is going to change your life, Pisces, okay? Um, this reading is always past, present, and future. It's a general timeless reading, so it could also be a trip that you've already been on. But either way, you take a train, a boat, or a plane, and your whole life changes because the sacred land has so much medicine for you on a soul level uh, that you have a lot of past life healing. Now, this sacred land, though, is almost initiating for you. You have High Priestess card over here. So it's like you go to this land and it's a big initiation. Uh, you are receiving sacred medicine from this land on a soul level that is also activating your spiritual gifts with the High Priestess over here. All right. Now, Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords, though. Um, why Seven of Swords and Eight of Swords for Pisces? There have been energies surrounding this trip. That's where it's like certain things going wrong, certain people acting funny, things like that. The reason why is because it is going to change your life. This is an amazing trip that you're going to take, okay? Because you do have the Page of Swords here. So this is, 
you being on defense, okay? You're just being on guard a little bit. Um, there are some blockages, you know, where it's like right before it's going to happen, this happens or that happens. Things with finances and people and relationships, you know. Um, however, I do see you just standing your guard. I see you very protected over here. Uh, and for some of you, what you need to know is that the money is going to be provided for for this trip. Okay, no matter what happens, uh, this is actually God's will that you're meant to go on this trip. And as I say that, I do get chills, okay? It's God's will, Four of Swords. You actually prayed for this to keep your prayer up. Now, why do we have Page of Pentacles with the Nine of Cups here for Pisces? Pisces, you, God is fully funding this trip for you, okay? Uh, be open to receive from known and unknown sources. Uh, also, just be in the energy that things are going to work out. And the reason why is because you have the Ace of Pentacles, Pisces. So just like my door keeps opening, right? Um, it doesn't matter what things come in, what happens. This is God's will. You are meant to be on this trip. You're meant to go to this space, this land, um, because it's going to be very, it's going to be a catalyst. And that's the word that comes to mind is catalyst on your personal, your healing and your spiritual journey. And so whatever you need for this trip is going to be fulfilled. All right. Fulfillment of dreams, wish fulfillment. Keep praying. Keep uh, doing your rituals, your intentions. All right. Stay focused also on your goals because things are coming in for you. Now, why the Knight of Cups with the High Priestess card here? Pisces, you are so supported. And that's what you need to know, too, is you're so supported like no matter what's coming up the blockages the people the negative energies whatever it is you're meant to be here you're meant to go on this trip you're meant to go to the sacred land whatever that this is for you okay uh and this though when you're there you're actually going to activate your soul gifts too so you're not coming back the same person after this trip we have ace of wands here you've got the power pisces Okay, you've got the power to maybe it's just manifesting whatever it is that you need. You can manifest that. Uh, be open and ready to receive that. So this is a lot of spiritual power that I'm seeing from whatever that this is. Okay, why Ace of Wands with the High Priestess and Knight of Cups? Why Ace of Wands, the Moon card? We do have King of Swords here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Who's this King of Swords? Oh, now we got the, I think this is more you Pisces actually with the King of Cups as a clarification. Why the moon card here? Ah, no, no Pisces. You're dealing with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius or a Cancer. Why the lover's card here? Why the lover's card? Yeah, Pisces, there's also a relationship here. Okay, it doesn't necessarily have to be romance, but I do see a relationship here. But it's interesting, as you're focused on your spiritual path, Pisces, this person comes in. So I would say, you know, in this reading, don't focus too much on the fact that there's a new connection coming in for you, a lover. And it may be a lover or just like a platonic soulmate, but there's a soulmate coming in for you, okay? Someone who's going to love you, who you're going to love as well. Uh, they want to bring forward some sort of truth for you and to you. Why the emperor with the lover's card? Why the Emperor with the Lover's card and the Two of Pentacles? This person is also coming in to help bring balance in your life. Why King of Pentacles with the Two of Pentacles? No, what they want you to know, Pisces, is that they choose you. They have many options, but they choose you. And that's going to happen very quickly. Um... And I know for those Pisces out there that are single, that are seeking love or just open to love... I would say the advice from spirit here, and I don't know why this reading makes me want to cry. As you focus on God's will, as you focus on um, your journey, this person just automatically comes in, okay? And like, I'm having the tears right now. If you are open to love, forget about love. And I don't, like for some people, like, what are you talking about? Stay focused on your mission. Stay focused on your journey. And there's someone here that is going to choose you. But like I see it as like they have they have options, Pisces. Okay, we had the reading the other day though where you have options too, okay? So there's many options here. But in the midst of having many options, this person is gonna look at you, Pisces, and like, no, I want Pisces. You know, they're handpicking you. You were handpicked 
for this experience here, right? By God, you're a hand picked by this person. It's a lot of good energy here, Pisces, okay? So that's also just coming in for you, but I would say stay focused on this first because I do feel like either this happens first or this has something to do with it. And this person, they choose you, they claim you, okay? Emperor energy, divine masculine energy says what he wants. Again, it's inner masculine, Um or outer masculine, but divine masculine energy claims, says what they want, they're very assertive, and this person's gonna say, oh, no, I want Pisces. Pisces is mine kind of thing, you know, and not like possessive and things like that, you know, but like, no, someone's gonna choose you, Pisces. It's beautiful energy. And I see that you've worked so hard as a soul to also allow this uh, person into your life and to manifest this person into your life. Now, what is the advice for Pisces here? Pisces, be open. I see you honoring your inner child here. Okay, so the advice also, I'm getting solar plexus energy, uh, maybe some solar plexus, Reiki, you know, you could go on YouTube, free guided meditations, 144 as soon as I say that, so maybe confirmation. Do things that make you happy. Do things that make your inner child feel happy. You know, some of you like to draw or color is what I'm seeing and, and keep doing that. Um, Ooh, beautiful energy too. Confirmation. I have chills on my crown as I uh, get these cards too. Three of pentacles, seven of pentacles. What's also coming through is working as a team is better than working alone. So some of you are also going to meet people that you're able to work with, to build with. Um, and then for all those of you, you're also researching hard, okay? So it's whether you're working hard or for some of you studying very hard for something. Maybe you're in school, could be college, could be spirituality, right? Could be like your priest or priestess path, whatever that it is. You've been working hard. You've been studying hard. Uh, now things are finally going to pay off and come to fruition for how hard it is that you've worked. But I, at the same time, I see you having this innocent energy, this very joyful, childlike energy, and it does bring in this new beginning for you. Um, so it's a beautiful energy, okay? I, I do see different things going on. You're feeling very light, fun, airy right now, you know, uh, and it does say it's time to start a fresh start. So be open to this newness that's coming into your life. A lot of newness, a lot of you seeing, um, again, the fruits of your labors that you've been working hard for in different ways. And you have a lot of life-changing stuff here, Pisces, okay? So that's what I have for you. I hope that it resonates. I'm going to grab some cards of advice. What are some cards of advice for Pisces? You do have deceit, okay? Now, we did have seven of swords, eight of swords, page of swords. Uh, collective, before you go on this trip... There's going to be some sort of betrayal or deceit. That's all a part of the plan. So what's also coming through is trust. Okay. That's why it's happening is because this is going to change your life. It's going to be, uh, it's going to advance you in different ways in different areas of your life. Uh, however, there's some sort of deceit here, whether it's like someone kind of doing you wrong with money, someone lying, being deceptive. This happens beforehand, but it's just a small bump in the road, uh, before your life really changes. So they had to reveal themselves before the goodness starts for you. All right. Cause I see a lot of goodness and a lot of new. Uh, for Pisces, what is another piece of advice for Pisces? All right, keeper of the scales, which is ma'at, okay? Ma'at may resonate with you. Again, I see you just joyful, okay? Joyful activity, activity, celebration of life and abundance. So this is coming in for you. I see you really embodying this energy. Uh, ma'at may resonate with you. And now that does represent truth as well, having your heart as light as a feather. Uh, some of you, I'm also hearing the laws of ma'at, whether you already know them, you say them. Maybe it's also time for you to research the laws of ma'at. Um, I'm seeing you showing up as so pure, so innocent. You know, and not that anyone's perfect, but Pisces, you had a really big rebirth here. Uh, you have this beautiful energy here, fairness and balance, and your life is coming to a balance. I mean, it is also Libra season. Okay, but whatever you watch this, it can be for you. And what's a final piece of advice for Pisces? Expand your consciousness, yes. And that's exactly what this trip is going to do, which also brings in a relationship, 144 four, again, as soon as I say that. It does say face your shadow. So a lot of shadow integration. You know, I do see a lot of awakening here, uh, but your life is definitely changing in a very good way here, and you're having a whole rebirth, okay? That's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope that it resonates. I'm sending you all so much love and so many blessings to your day.